Hello everyone. So uh, this is uh, just a practice problem. I thought I will finally close the topic of bus impedance matrix by doing one quick video uh, where I will discuss the question from one of the previous exams which I said. So this is actually a question from uh, last two years, uh, previous two years, where in that exam I was asking students to find out Y bus and Z bus for this particular system. Let's do it as a practice problem so that we get some uh, understanding. So the question is build Y bus and Z bus for this particular uh, three bus system. You notice bus one, bus two, bus three, three bus system, they are interconnected. And bus one has a shunt capacitance and bus two has a shunt reactance. So for this, we need to build the Y bus. So let's get started first. So for the first step for building Y bus, so I'll just write the admittances. So y13 equal to 1 by this so 1 by 0.3 will be 3.33 and this will be minus j similarly y23 will be equal to 1 by this that is minus j5 and here y12 will be equal to minus of that is 1 by this so this will be minus j4 so 1 by 0.25 will be 4 and similarly y20 will be equal to minus 1 by sorry minus j5 because 1 by 0.2 is 5 and finally here it will be my so it will be plus j2 so it will not be minus j2 it will be plus j2 so that's it so we have uh, all the admittances marked on the system so now let me write down the y bus So what will be the Y bus? So Y bus for the system, uh, let me make a 3 by 3 grid. And first I look at the off diagonal elements. So when I look at the off diagonal elements, Y12 will be minus J4, so it will become plus J4. Y13 will be plus j 3.33 so the j4 will copy here j 3.33 will copy here and between 2 and 3 is minus j5 so it will become plus j5 and this also will become plus j5 now coming to half diagonal elements good thing there is no shent elements at bus 3 so I can simply add these two so 5 plus 3.33 is 8.33 so it will be minus j 8.33 it will be my y33 element now coming to y22 element so i have an additional minus j5 here so first i will add these two 4 plus 5 is 9 then i change the sign it will become minus j9 and then add this one so minus j9 minus j5 will become minus j14 so like this here it's a little bit tricky because this is plus j2 so first what I will do, I will add these two. In fact, I can just add all the admittances, you know, looking at the diagram. So plus, so I will just add plus J2 minus J3.33 and minus J4. So that is what is connected to 1. And if I add this, so I think it will be 5.33. So minus J5.33. So let me delete this. So that's it. I have the Y bus. And once I have the Y bus, then it is easy to find the Z bus. So how do you find the Z bus here? Z bus is nothing but Y bus inverse. And of course, to do the inversion of this matrix, I'd like to depend on the computer. So let me go to my code. So I'll open a new file. And then I'll say y bus equal to j or i multiplied by so minus 5.334 and 3.33. So this is the first row. Look at the second row 4, 14, 4 minus 14 and 5. So 4 minus 14 and 5. And what is the third row? 3.33, 5 and 8.33. Okay. 3.33, 5. 
5 minus 8.33 so finally this is my y bus and then z bus is nothing but inverse of y bus as simple as that uh, I don't want because there are only imaginary components here I just want to display the imaginary part of z so that's it so let me save this and run so here is the final answer that I that I am getting so let me transfer the answer to the so I have to change the font slightly reduce the size okay that looks okay so this is my z bus so this will be j into so this concludes the first part of the question that is uh, forming the y bus and uh, inverting the y bus and finding the z bus now let's build the z bus for the system step by step now we build z bus step by step so what is step one is nothing but this is bus one and then I am adding minus j 0 0.5 to bus one so here all impedances have to add so from this I will get z is nothing but minus j 0 0.5 so this is like case one all right moving on what is step two step two is I'll, I'll consider like this this is already considered and to this bus one I am adding another bus two and whose impedance is j 0 0.25 yeah so a new bus 2 is created which is connected to existing bus 1 and this looks like it is case 2 so I will apply the formula for case 2 so again if you want to quickly refer case 2 is uh, the existing z bus a new bus q is added so i have to co co copy the kth column co copy the kth row and then add these two elements so that is the process so let me go back to this so what will be my z bus so minus j 0 0.5 will be same so minus j 0 0.5 will come here minus j 0 0.5 will come here so i copied the first column copied the first row here to the to the so z22 will be minus j 0 0.5 that is z11 plus the new impedance j 0 0.25 so this will be minus j 0 0.25 so this is the z bus at the end of the step 2 so i think we are slowly making some progress so now what is the next step so the next step i want to do is step Three, which is step 3 so already this is added and we got bus 1 and then bus 2 also we added now here I will add the reactor uh, reactance element to the ground I think the impedance here is 0 0.2 so let me verify yes here it is 0 0.2 So adding a shunt element to existing bus. So this is like a case 3. So we have to apply Kron's reduction here. So let me show you quickly what is case 3. New line added between reference and existing bus. So you take the old Z bus and then you do this calculation and then you will be able to get the new Z bus. So what is the calculation? 1 by ZB by ZKK, ZK column and ZK row. All right. 
so let's go back to our our problem now so z i'll just new equal to z old minus 1 by z k k plus z b this is multiplied by z k column and then z k row so so my old z bus already i have it here so 1 by what is z k k so that is minus j 0 0.25 plus what is z b this one the new that i am adding new element i am adding now kth column that means the second column so minus j 0 0.5 minus j 0 0.25 multiplied by second row second row will also be same 0 0.5 minus j 0 0.25 that's it so this is the calculation that i have to do to get the z new so of course i can do uh, manual calculation here but then i will just simply uh, rely on uh, matlab to do that so okay so let me define that here so i'll i'll create a new file so So in this new file z old equal to this one minus i multiplied by 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.25 okay that's it so this is the old z bus then uh, i'll have z row so z k row is equal to so again minus i multiplied by the second row of it so in fact i can just take z old and then i'll take the second row all columns similarly zk columns let me that's it now i have the second row and second column then the zkk element so this is let me define zb is equal to i into 0 0.2 and then zkk is equal to z old second row second element so finally now i have z new is equal to z old minus 1 divided by zkk plus zb so this whole thing multiplied by zk column this whole thing multiplied by zk row so that's it so i just want to print the imaginary part of z new that's it so i have 4.5 2 2 and 1 so this is the final output so this is the imaginary part so this is also again positive so from from step 3 we'll get z new or z equal to j 4.5 j 2 j 2 and j 1 all right so now I have uh, this done. Now let's do step four.
So what is step four? So I take whatever was my system in step two and then I'll add bus three. So this is bus three and a new impedance element is added. And what is the impedance of that? So if I go up j.3. So j.3 is added to this. All right. So this is this is again case two. A new bus is added to existing bus. So therefore, this is like a case two. So now it is adding to one. So I have to copy the first column. So z bus will be equal to. I'll copy this as it is. J four point five, J two, J two and J one. And here the first column is copied because I am just attaching to the first column. So first column is copied here. Then again first row will be copied here. So first row J four point five and J two. And this element will be this J one plus J point three, so it will be J one point three. So this is the final. Uh, after adding the element at bus three, you will get this. So step four is completed. Just last step one is uh, remaining, and once we do that one step, then everything will be uh, completed. All right, so let's do the final step. Step five. So I take this entire uh, system that was there at the end of step four. right so here i'll add another line here and this line will have impedance of okay j.2 now this is case 4 because a, a new line is being added between two existing lines so this is case 4 so let me uh, promptly go to my case 4 formula and then i'll just copy this This whole thing I'll copy. So this is case four. So Z bus old I already have here. This is a three by three matrix. Now J minus K column. So which column I should minus? So between two and three is there. So let's consider two is J and three is K. So so j equal to 2 and k equal to 3 therefore j minus k will be 2 minus 3 so i have to subtract second column minus third column so so i think i'll directly do it in, in the code So let me duplicate this file and here my old Z bus I'll be writing creating here J 4.5 2 and 4.5 again so 4.5 2 4.5 so the I is outside so now let's look at the second row J 2 J 1 J 2 Okay, so 2, 1, 2. Now let's look at the third row. 4.5, 2 and 1.3. So 4.5, 2 and 1.3. So this is my old Z bus. Now Z, J, K row and Z, J, K column I am interested in. So where my J equal to 2 and K equal to 3. 
So in that case, what will be the Z J K row? So here J minus K will come, and here also, or oh, not like this, like this. So what is happening is the jth column is this is what jth row is taken here and kth row is taken here and then it is being subtracted similarly with the column so jth column all rows jth column minus all rows kth column now i am also interested in zll so what is zll that is nothing but z old so k k plus j j minus 2 into j k so i am basically just uh, uh, doing this formula k k plus j j minus 2 into j k plus z b so plus z b that is 0 0.2 how much is z b that is 0 0.2 okay How much ZB we did we take in the previous case? Anyway, so let's let's do this. ZB is 0.2. So that I'll add here. So finally ZLL is also calculated. So this I don't require. And now this is a cross reduction formula. So here I'll simply replace this with ZLL. And then this is JK column and this is JK row. That's it. I think now I have everything. So hopefully if everything is correct, we'll, we'll be able to see the solution. No, looks like something is not correct. So let me just check it and then I'll, I'll get back to you. All right, so after a lot of checking and a lot of troubleshooting, Finally, I found where I made the mistake. Some of you might have already uh, found it uh, at the time when I was doing this. The mistake was uh, here. So this this is not uh, 1.3. So here is where I made a mistake. So what should this be? So this is actually Z11 plus ZB. So Z11 is actually J4.5. To J4.5, 0.3 should be added. So this is this is actually J4.8. So this is the mistake. Uh, I'll be later. Uh, I, I had made a mistake earlier, and now I have corrected it. So rest of the thing is uh, same. So let me go to the code and. Here I am just changing this 1.3 to 4.8 and once I do this uh, j is 3 so now I am adding a new element between 3 and 2 whose impedance is j.2 so I am defining the value of zb and then I am extracting the j minus k row so how I am extracting I am taking the z bus j row I am taking all columns and then k throw I'm taking and then I'm taking the subtraction similarly I'm doing for the column then zll is nothing but zkk plus zjj minus 2zjk plus zb so and then simply this is now the cron reduction formula and then once I do that and if I if I display the final result so it comes out to be something like this so let me expand this and then we'll run it again so finally, this is my uh, Z bus which I'm, I'm getting. So
so z bus equal to j into this now if how does it compare with the solution that we got before so this is the z bus building method step by step and this is my previous solution so if i just copy this and then compare it So I'm just pasting it here. So this is solution by step by step method. And this is solution by inverting Y bus. So yes, I think they are they are matching. So there might be some issue with uh, the rounding of error at the larger decimals. So this this if you are except that the answers are matching. So I think with this I'll I'll end this topic of Zbus and we'll we'll work on some other topic. Thank you.